Good evening, folks. We are coming to you live from ALA Gilbert North here in sunny Gilbert, Arizona, where we have the ALA Gilbert North Eagles squaring off against the Arizona College Prep Knights. And I'm excited for this matchup. We're joining uh, in the middle of warm-ups for the ALA Eagles. A little bit of a late start today due to the JV game running long. And what a game that was. It went to three sets of the possible three. Really tightly contested first set with the Eagles taking it 25-22. And the Knights really ran away with that second set, taking I think it was 25-12 before you know, a close final third set, 15-13. And the one thing I noticed about the Knights JV team is they were in sync on the court, after plays, coordinated cheers, bringing the energy. You could tell they just looked like they had it together. Uh, compared to the Eagles, they had their moments, but just couldn't pull out the victory. So let's hope that the varsity team can bring the energy and come out because the Arizona College Prep Knights are 17-0 and and have not yet lost yet and are not looking to lose tonight. Right now it looks like we got the camera on Eagles number two, Ender Anderson. Little fun fact about him is he won uh, – him and his band won Gilbert's Got Talent this last week. So talented on the court, but also off the court and ready to showcase his volleyball skills tonight. And here on the mic tonight, you will have Mike tonight, you will have Alex Whipple, myself, so hopefully you don't get tired of hearing me speak. But I'm looking forward to a fun game. to your questions by building a plan with you that is always available to you through your own personal financial website where you can see your complete financial picture and how you are tracking towards meeting your goals in a simple, clear, easy to view way, allowing you to check in on your progress anytime, anywhere. And we'll stay with you along the way to keep you pointed in the direction of your dreams so you can focus on everything else together we can build a plan for your financial life. Let's get started. Welcome to Yogurt Kingdom, a family owned and operated frozen yogurt shop. We have a wide variety of flavors and even offer lactose and sugar free options. Best of all, frozen yogurt provides several health benefits. It contains live cultured enzymes and probiotics promoting healthy digestive systems, provides nutrients that contribute to bone health, and is lower in calories than traditional ice cream. With over 80 toppings to choose from, you can easily customize your frozen treat. Stop in today. And we are back here at the nest of ALA Gilbert North to watch the Eagles take on the Knights. And for those that saw the Yogurt Kingdom commercial, those commercials get me every time. I love frozen yogurt. I've got a sweet tooth, but we're gonna have to wait till after the game for dessert tonight. We are currently watching the Eagles warm up. We already had the Knights warm up earlier tonight, and for those of you that aren't familiar with the Knights, I actually watched the game last year, and they're a really strong team, very well coached. Uh, they're led by their setter, sophomore Caden Wong. This is a guy really skilled. Won't get a lot of credit because he's the one setting the ball and not getting the kills, but his hands are buttery soft and smooth, just dishing out treats to his hitters all night long. And he's so good that 
the Knights don't even have a backup setter listed on the roster because he's going to bring it all game, and he's going to lead that team. On offense, they're going to be led by sophomore outside hitter Logan Koking. He is their leading attacker, gets the most sets, and they also run a lot out of the middle with Austin Lund, the middle blocker. So it's all led by their setter, having a diversified attack and really setting the team up for success. Here with the Eagles, we're familiar with them, but we have Sam Brown, outside hitter, leading the team on offense. He's the leader of this team emotionally with his play, by example, all the above. He's got his uh, nice bleach blonde hair, and he will be serving it up all night long from the service line and then attacking it from the attack line. And opposite of him, we have Boston Bidette. Don't sleep on him. He has some springs for legs and really is a good second option, solid option for the Eagles. On camera, we got Shane Weir, outside hitter, also will come in as a defensive specialist, warming up with his serves. It's like he's got the KT tape on and is ready to go. We're going to send it down to our PA announcer Good to get evening, us kicked off. Welcome to American Leadership Academy, Gilbert North High School, the home of the Eagles. We welcome tonight's opponent, Arizona College Prep Knights. We want to remind you that both teams participating tonight are members of the Arizona Interscholastic Association, and they abide by the rules and regulations as set forth by the association to maintain and improve high standards of conduct, competition, and member school relations. We ask all in attendance tonight to remember the motto of the AIA, which is to pursue victory with honor. Before we introduce the starting items, we'd like to honor our country with the playing of the national anthem. Would you please stand? Junior 
Here on the broadcast, after the announcing of the starting lineups, we have the Knights and the Eagles kicking it off. And whoa, number 15 on the Eagles kicks us off with a backflip. I did not see that coming. And like the PA announcer said, Brennan Varney out tonight. Typical head coach of the Eagles. Had a baby this morning, so congrats to him. If he and our newest ALA Eagles fan are watching at home. And also a shout out to my mom who said she was watching at home. And my girlfriend, Brynn, who said... She was watching as well, supporting, and hopefully we have a, a lot more Eagles fans supporting us on the broadcast. On the Eagle TV Network on YouTube. Tell your friends and neighbors, the Eagle TV Network on YouTube. So we're about to get started here with Ender Anderson, or Ender Smith, pardon me, on the serve. Goes by the nickname Sox as well. So let, let's start us off with a socks update too. Looks like he's got some, some navy blue socks and lives by the motto, look good, feel good, play good. And with that, we are off. And the Knights, number 12, Logan Coking swings and hits it out. Point Eagles. We're, we're off to a good start. We'll take the points however we can get them. A swing again by number 12. They were caught a little out of system. Not a great pass off to serve, but the Eagles handle it, and Sam Brown with the touch puts it down. Usually he's smoking it, but it's all about the placement there. Sometimes it's about playing, uh, playing smarter, not harder. Saw Sam Brown do it there. Does it all. Sox with the serve again and some great defense by the Eagles. He's going to come and set. Sam Brown with the block. The Knights look out of sorts and they're calling the libero for the Knights under the net. And I don't know if this number zero is new on the, the Knights or if they weren't prepared to have a number zero, but he's not listed on the roster. So apologies for uh, not knowing his name. And a service error stops the run for Ender Smith. Let's see what the Eagles got on defense on the server seat here. And Nick Cedar with the kill. The pass on that play handled easily by the libero, Tyler Anderson. You got to wonder if the Knights server missed his service assignment, serving light right to the libero. That one was handled easily, and we'll get to see the jump serve from Sam Brown. He serves it just long, but we like to see the aggression. We got to win points, and you're going to miss some when you're serving hard, serving aggressive. Boston Bidette handles the pass, ender with the set. Sam Brown on the attack, and the Knights handle... Handle Sam's attack and give us a transition kill off the block. 
Again, great set by Caden Wong there. Really running the offense and leaving a lot of options. The Knights with the jump serve there and Eagles a little out of system on the pass. The score is tied now at four to four and we are looking at a service run from Logan Koking. Let's see if the Eagles can step up here and get a pass. Sam Brown steps in front to take it. And Nick Cedar looked a little out of rhythm there. Maybe mistimed his jump. Hit right into the block. And it's another point for the Knights. What a, what a jump set by Ender to get that under control, but the, the swing goes long. So the run continues at the service line for Logan Koking. He's got a, a little tricky jump serve, and the key to his serve is he's not missing. Boston Bidette on the pass. Ender coming to him with the set, and he puts it down for the kill. Tyler Anderson's gonna be back to serve for the Eagles. Got some great serve receive earlier in this game. Let's see what he's got at the service line. And what a great set. Again, the pass, not the best pass, gets it up and a perfect set going outside. Really allowed the, the hitter Lucas Park there to put it down for the Knights. And their libero back to serve. And the serve goes long. Side out, Eagles, and they're back at the service line. It's like we have a serving specialist coming in and defensive specialist as well. Dalton Johnson, better known by the team as Froggy, is back to serve and in to play defense. And Nata Morello shuts the door on that. You know, great run on offense by the Knights, but he said not today. And the Knights do like to establish their middle. The setter runs a well-balanced offense, and that's going to open up the hitters on the outside if they can run their middle. So really key for the Eagles to get a block there early and establish a block. So they can keep the Knights on their heels. Ken and Cow back to serve and handled again by the libero, Tyler Johnson. Boston Bidette's hit is handled by the Knights defense and they tip it over. And the Eagles watched it drop there. You know, that's one of those plays that you wanna see bodies hit the floor and the defense get it up. Didn't happen there. Eagles defense looking at each other. And no one was there to get it. And Ken and Cow with the service ace. We have another run brewing here for the Knights. They're, they've built a, a nice 10 to seven lead. And they're serving tough, tough float serve. Now those, those float serves may not look as intimidating as a jump serve, but they're like a knuckleball in baseball where they just move left and right and can sometimes be hard for the serve receive to handle, but they handled that last one and got the side out. We have Boston Bidette now back to serve. And Kaden Wong goes back to the middle, Austin Lund, and he puts it down for the kill. I think one of the things that's impressive about this Knights team in general is they only have two seniors listed on their roster. So they're young, they're getting better, and really tough team. The Eagles get the side out on the miss serve, and it is now 9 to 11. And number 15, Jake Porter, who wowed us with the backflip pregame, is in to serve. His serve handled by the outside, but Ender Anderson shuts the door on the block. Anderson Smith. 
You know, don't let his size fool him, fool you. He's going to get a big block up, and he shuts the door there on Logan Coking. The Eagles get a free ball. Let's see what they can do with it. They go right to the middle. Maxwell, Maxwell Gordon Smith. And I'm really impressed today by Ender, Ender Smith's game. His uh, setting is a well-balanced attack. The Knights can't tell where the ball's going to be coming from. And it's really helped out the Eagle offense. Remain unpredictable. Uh, stealthy tip there by the Knights. Those are sometimes the hardest ones because you're expecting a big swing. And, and the Knights do swing it hard. And they just tip it right past the block. Right in the middle of the court where no one is. Number 10, Austin Lund there with the service air. Another side out for the Knights. And just like that, we're tied 12 to 12. Ender Smith back to serve. The serve is handled. They run it out to the middle. And middle blocker Jake Bussett hits it long. You know, he hits it long. I think that's the first set he's got all game. But, again, even if this is a set, you like to see the offense diversified from the Knights so that you don't know where it's coming from. And misses the last hit but gets a block. There, block from Jake Bussett. Wanted some vengeance for that missed attack. And he comes right back on the block to even the score at 13. And we're neck and neck here. A nice hard float serve, hard to handle there. Eagles are a little out of system, but Sam Brown, Sam Brown again with the touch. You know, not hitting it the hardest, but finds that deep corner. Sometimes it's not about hitting it hard, it's about hitting it where the defenders aren't. And really smart play by Sam Brown. And he must have watched the JV game because the Knights, they were passing everything. If you hit a ball to them, right to them they're passing it up and, and jamming the ball right back down your throat but if you hit it where they're not then nothing they can do about it whoa nick cedar with the kill and i guess the the p announcer said it cider so cedar cider whatever however you pronounce his name that's a kill Really strong kill. A nice serve over there by the Eagles. But again, the Knights running their offense out of system and can get the kill. Coach Kinney over there giving some coaching tips to the defense, hoping that if they get another attack like that, they can get the dig. And a miss served by the Knights gets an easy quick side out for the Eagles. We got Dalton Johnson back on the serve. Serve is handled by the Knights. And Kenan Cow running from the right side hits it off the block and out of bounds for the point. And that's an example there of the well-balanced attack from the Knights. There's only one blocker up to stop Ken and Cow, and one blocker is not enough. You know, at this level, if you have one blocker, a lot of the, the hitters can hit around, some instances even hit above, and it makes things easier for the offense. Boston Bidet with the float serve. Catches the middle blocker unsuspecting. But doesn't matter. Lucas Park hits it off the block and out of bounds. We have a side out point for the Knights. And the score again is even at 17-17. We got a nail biter on our hands, folks. Ooh, boom. Sam Brown with the kill. Puts it down. I'm not sure if the, the Knights coach had a discussion pre-game about getting serves in because we've seen on a lot of the Knights jump serves that 
They're maybe taking a little bit off. Like me when I drive in a school zone. Just to get their serves in. And you can only do that for so long before the defense can handle the serves and run their offense. But both offenses running really well, putting the ball down when they have the chance. And again, back and forth affair, 18 to 18, as Austin Lund gets back to serve. His serve, perfect pass by Froggy, Dalton Johnson. And a little bit of miscommunication on the night side, but doesn't matter. Logan Coking hits it off the block and out of bounds for the point to the Knights. They're picking on Dalton Johnson, but he says doesn't matter. Gets the perfect pass and allows Maxwell Gordon Smith to run a quick attack out of the middle. And I'm not sure if the Knights did their homework, saw something they liked in uh, serving Dalton Johnson, but maybe they'll have to rethink that strategy because he got two serves and two perfect passes. Ender Smith with the serve. Handled by the Knights, and again, running attack out of the middle off the block. The Eagles are getting their hands on a lot of balls, but the Knights just hitting the ball off the block to get points. And the setter there, Ender, a little off balance on the set, and can't get the ball to an attacker. We have the ball back to the Knights on the serve. Again, great pass. He's looking Sam Brown, and Sam Brown puts it down. They needed that to prevent a run from getting out of hand, and Sam Brown's that guy for the Eagles where when they need something, he's cool as a cucumber. Calm and collected, can get the team a kill. Let's see if he can get him a serve now, too. Great serve again, out of system for the Knights, but doesn't matter. Perfect back set to Logan Coking, and he puts it down. And again, props to the setter, Caden Wong. The pass a little off the net, and it didn't matter. He's going to distribute it and get it right where the hitters need it so they can run their attack. And the Eagles try to go quick on the set, raise the tempo to Boston Bidette and he hits it long. We have a timeout here from the Eagles facing some adversity down 23 to 20. And we'll see what Coach Kenny has for them to get them together, collect their thoughts and, and come back and try to win this game. And it looks like we're staying here on the air through the commercial break. Andrew Kinney dishing out some advice. Don't see a clipboard in his hand. I don't know if it's broken from uh, any frustrations earlier in the game, but let's see what he's drawn up. And it may not be that he's drawn up anything. He may just be trying to stall the server, give the server something to think about so that when he steps back to the service line, he hits into the net. But... I don't know if that's really going to worry. The Knights haven't been missing too many serves, and they got their their captain, Logan Coking, back at the service line. And again, takes a little off the jump serve, handled by the Eagles, and off the block. The Knights transition from a get a back row attack from Logan Coking. The play's still going. Tight ball at the net, and nobody gets to it. Ball lands on the night side. We got point Eagles. Whatever Coach Kenny said in the timeout worked, and they are back to serve to win some points. They get a double block on the ball and send it back to the Knights. Caden Wong with the bump set again. Off the block, 
Played with a foot, kicked off the ceiling, out of bounds. Point Eagles. Let's see if Tyler Anderson can make this run continue. Tip out of the middle, but the Eagles are ready for it. Number 11 swings, out of bounds, Point Eagles. I think the Knights coach was a little upset on that play because it seemed like during the rally, an Eagles player came under the net but the rest didn't see it, so play on. And he's ready to play on, not, not harping on it. He's trusting his team to win back a point, and the Eagles get a block on it. We got another rally on our hands. And Lucas Park puts it down with the kill. The double block was there, but did not press their hands over the net, and point Knights. They're serving for the set. Sam Brown handles the pass. And back to Nick Cedar on offense. Give me the hot sauce. I didn't know much about Nick coming to this game, but, man, I know a lot about him now. It seems like when the Eagles have needed a kill, they've been able to count on him, putting it down. Double block doesn't matter. Not a Morello. Hangs up there, gets a hand on the ball, and sends it back to the Knights. Eagles get the ball, run their offense. And again, ball off the block. Seems to, it's happened a couple times now to the Eagles where they're not pressing their hands. The ball just trickles over off the block on their side of the net. The Knights, number nine, Ken and Cow back for set point. The tip by Lucas Park out of bounds. We got ourselves a tie ball game on the side out. 25-25 and Boston Bidette back to serve. Another block by Nada Morello. What a set, really fast tempo off the net to get to the middle blocker. A great play by the libero. Sam Brown to get the free ball jumped into the umpire's chair and they call the ball out of bounds. Yeah, we don't need the, the up ref falling off that, that post in harm's way. The Eagles, boom, go back to Sam Brown, who puts it down for the kill. He was not ready to go on to the second set, so he ties the game up again at 26. Serving specialist, number 15, Jake Porter in. Great serve, gets the Knights out of system, and a free ball to run their offense. Great pass, too. Really coming in, doing it all. Sam Brown hits into the block and falls down just on the line. Knights, block. Knights take back the lead, 27-26, and are looking to close out this set. And a serve into the net. This set's going to keep on going. Free volleyball, folks. High pressure situation here for Ender Smith, but gets his service over. A tip by Nick Sider again. And when the Eagles have needed a kill, he's given, he's delivered. Call him the mailman. Carl Malone, and we're staying here. On that tip kill, the Eagles go up 28-27. And we have a timeout. Yeah, 
Yeah, really high level volleyball. I think we didn't broadcast the JV game, but the Eagles JV team was spent a lot of time looking around at each other on tips, slow balls over the net, but not the case with the varsity team. They're going after everything. They have that hunger to win. They haven't lost a set yet in the state of Arizona. Lost a couple games in the couple matches in a Las Vegas tournament, but still undefeated. Haven't lost a match, and again, haven't even lost any sets in Arizona as part of that record. And this is a big test for them. Probably their, their hardest test to date here in the state of Arizona. Let's see if they can deliver. The Knights go to Logan Koken who hits it out and the Eagles take game one. Like the PA announcer said, great effort. I like the idea from the Knights going with tempo, setting the ball a little faster and lower to try to catch the Eagles defense off guard and it didn't matter because the ball was hit out of bounds. But, you know, the Knights are well coached. Not going to be down on that. Know that they still have plenty of game left to play and see if they can come back for set number two. We deliver the answers to your questions by building a plan with you that is always available to you through your own personal financial website where you can see your complete financial picture and how you are tracking towards meeting your goals in a simple, clear, easy to view way, allowing you to check in on your progress anytime, anywhere. And we'll stay with you along the way to keep you pointed in the direction of your dreams so you can focus on everything else. Together, we can build a plan for your financial life. Let's get started. Welcome to Yogurt Kingdom, a family owned and operated frozen yogurt shop. We have a wide variety of flavors and even offer lactose and sugar free options. Best of all, frozen yogurt provides several health benefits. It contains live cultured enzymes and probiotics promoting healthy digestive systems, provides nutrients that contribute to bone health, and is lower in calories than traditional ice cream. With over 80 toppings to choose from, you can easily customize your frozen treat. Stop in today. Attention adult and teens who are ready to learn to drive. Steer Right Driving School is now accepting enrollment and will match any competitor's advertised price while giving you superior services that includes door-to-door -door service. Avoid the hassles and long lines of the MVD. Steer Right Driving School is certified by the state of Arizona to issue you a waiver upon completion of 10 hours of behind-the-wheel training and road evaluation. No MVD exams needed. Family owned and operated with professional instructors who want their students to enjoy learning this important skill. A plus rated by the BBB. Let Steer Right Driving School steer you in the right direction. Call 480-434-2303. 480-434-2303 or go to steerrightdrivingschool.com and remember we'll match any of our competitors advertised price so save time and start your search with us steerrightdrivingschool.com and we are back here live at ALA Gilbert North to watch set two of the Eagles take on the Knights Alex Wibble here on the broadcast and in set one really competitive game of volleyball. Nick Sider came up big with some timely kills to keep the Eagles in the game. Single blocks, double blocks, didn't matter for him. Hit it down hard, tipped around the block, did whatever needed to get the point. So let's see if we can see more of him here in set number two. As Kaden Wan kicks it off for the Knights with the serve. That ball almost hit the, the basketball hoop, but it managed to miss it, and the rally continues. 
scrappy play by the Eagles and the libero, Tyler Anderson, takes a stab at it and cannot get it over the net. So we have Point Knights and Caden Wong back to serve. Eagles a little out of system, off the pass, and the Knights put it down. Starting off this set hot. This had some similar shades of the JV game earlier where close game in set one and Knights ran away with it in set two. Hopefully I didn't jinx anything. Let's see if the Eagles can get a side out here and they can't. Ender Smith goes to tip and tips right into the net. It's a good idea, he's front row. In the setter's front row, you usually just have two attackers since the setter is setting the ball and they usually like to throw in some deception, tip the ball over, catch the defense off guard, but to no avail. Sam Brown with the tip and gets him out of that rotation. They needed that. You know, it wasn't sexy, but got the job done on the tip. They all count for the same, and Ender Anderson, sorry, Ender Smith back to serve for the Eagles. The Knights go to their middle blocker, Jake Bussett, and he puts it down. Again, great set. Typically when that ball's off the net, not a lot of setters can maintain tempo with their middle blocker to run a play out of the middle. But the Knights obviously showing some elite level of volleyball, keeping all three options open. And Maxwell Gordon-Smith says, anything you can do, I can do better. Runs his own attack out of the middle and gets the point for the Eagles. Sam Brown back at the service line. Let's see if he can go on a run and chip away at this lead. And they're calling the play dead on a double hit from the setter. You know, tough set for the setter to make, running all the way from the net to get the ball. And the ball did not come out clean from his set, so the point goes to the Eagles. And set it to credit to Sam Brown on the tough serve, and he rips another one. The line judge calls it in, and the Knights don't seem to agree. That ball is going so fast, though, that tough to see from the line judge. Maybe the Knights thought that that line judge was a little biased, being a Eagles JV player, but the call is the call, and we move on. Ender Smith trying to go back to Nick Cedar with that connection. And can't get the point on that play. The Knights have a 5-4 lead and their libero is back to serve. What a pass from the libero. Eagles run their offense. Boston Bedeck gets the tip over and a shank pass from the Knights libero. Nothing much they could do with that one. And just like that, we got ourselves a tie game. And credit to the Eagles for not letting that, that lead get out of control. Just coming right back and, and taking control of this game. We got a free ball coming over to the Eagles. Let's see what they can run with their offense. Going back to Nick Cedar on the opposite. And Lucas Park pounds one off Nottamrello's block. And again, goes off the block and down on the Eagles' side for a Knights point. I think we got ourselves another back and forth affair here, folks. Austin Lund rejects Boston's tip on the block. And the Knights are running off as the one-handed set for the Knights. Man, that was nice. I think some of the Eagles fans were even clapping on that play. Just some good volleyball. Eagles are sending over a free ball. They cannot handle the serve. And the up ref's going to call net on the setter. A little bit of an overpass, and he did everything he could to get the ball under control, but just hit the net just a little bit. And we got a 
defensive specialist substitution coming in, Hasim El Saeed, to play some defense. And the nice to get a point, run their attack out of the middle, Austin Lund. The Knights have had a lot of success running their attack out of the middle. Austin Lund doing great. Junior. He's put a lot of balls down. And the Eagles cannot handle the pass. Ender with a tough time setting the ball. And pushes it a little too far out to the outside hitter. We got a substitution coming in. Number nine, Barrett Rogers. He's a setter. Not that Ender was doing anything wrong. I think the Eagles were just trying to get a little change of pace, freshen things up, see if they could get a momentum swing. And we'll see what Boston Bidette has at the service line to keep this going. Boston with a dig off the attack from the Knights. Sam Brown again with the tip, going deep corner and just misses. He found a lot of success tipping the ball in game one to that deep corner where the Knights didn't have any defenders, but just tipped it a little long. A fastball from Austin Lund on the serve. Eagles get the ball over and Knights are again running their offense. Don't get a big attack coming out and allows Sam Brown to transition. That attack was close, but the upper ref called it out of bounds. So we have Point Knights, and they have an 11 to seven lead. Back to serve again. Eagles go to the middle, not to Morello to switch things up and get the kill. On plays like that, the defense may be looking for Sam Brown to get the ball to end the rally. And on that one, sometimes when the, the defense isn't expecting it, it's the best time to go to the middle there. And just like that, the serving specialist and backflip specialist, might I add, Jake Porter, dials up an ace. Goes for a second ace. And access denied by Maxwell Gordon-Smith on the block. Man, I don't know who's more excited about that, me or the Eagles. That was huge. Just like that, the Eagles rattle off three quick points and a fourth quick point on the attacking air. And the Knights need to find some answers because just like that, we have a tie game at 11-11. Jake Porter showing us why he's the service specialist, rattling off four serves. And almost another ace, but an overpass. Sam Brown gets the block, tips it over, and the Knights come out of the back row. Bossman handles the, the pass, and Barrett, sorry, excuse me, a lot of action there going fast. Sam Brown off the block to get the point. The Knights might be looking to call a timeout here, disrupt some, some momentum from Jake Porter, but not on this play. They're really picking on Lewis Park there, making him pass the ball. And Knights get the side out there. That ties up the game at 12-12. And Caden Wong's back there to serve to try to answer that run from the Eagles. That serve was right in between the Eagles defenders and they didn't know who's gonna get it, all looking at each other. That serve hit the seam, a little bit of confusion and a service ace for the Knights. And just right after the service ace, we have a service error. So the Eagles, Barrett Rogers back to the service line. Here's a nice serve to get 
the Knights out of system and Tyler Anderson with the timely dig. And guess who from the right side? Garrett Rogers. Nick Cedar. A little bit of confusion from the Knights on the serve receive, but they get the ball. And another dig by Boston Bidette. Knights run their offense and hit the ball out of bounds. We've seen a couple of hitting errors from the Knights and their coach calling a timeout to get things under control. It looks like Coach Kenny bringing the Eagles together on this timeout to sort out some of the confusion on the serve receive. Even though they've got a two point lead, doesn't want any more aces to come through. I'm excited to see what kind of play the, the Knights are dialing up in this timeout. Alex Martinez has the, the team together for the Knights. And in situations like this, he's just telling them to calm down, play their game. They've proven that they can run an offense at a high level, and he just wants them to come out and play to their potential. So I'll expect the Knights to come out and get a good pass, run some offense with some tempo, and see if they can get a side out real quick before this lead grows for the Eagles. And Barrett Rodgers back to serve, coming off a lengthy break from the timeout. And he gets to serve in. Knights again a little bit out of sorts and Tyler Anderson Libero not leaving anything up to chance. Steps in, takes the pass and the Eagles swing the ball and hit out of bounds. We got a point to the Knights. Nick Cedar hitting the ball across court a lot. Went down the line on that one. Tried to Switch his attacks up and give me the hot sauce on that. Some heat from Sam and Brown. Brown the Eagles have had a couple of options to go to that they haven't had to rely so heavily on Sam Brown, but when they give it to him, he can get them a kill. Swings a serve into the net on that one, resulting in a side out for the Knights and they're going back to serve looking to run their offense. Pass handled by the libero and some confusion. Looks like Nick Cedar had a play dialed up with the setter to run something quick. And Derek Rogers saying my fault on that. I think there's some miscommunication on the play. I will say great job from the Eagles, serve receive. Serving really well, putting their offense in a position, but Boston Bidette hits the ball off the antenna and the antenna is out of bounds. A little short on the set. Nick Cedar pushes it over and Knights hit the ball into the net on that one. Side out Eagles. Folks, we got ourselves another back and forth affair. We're tied up here 17-17 with Tyler Anderson back to serve. We got a free ball coming over from the Knights. Couldn't handle the pass and not a Morello. He's come with some timely blocks and a timely kill there. Hits the ball off the block and out of bounds. Point Eagles. Tyler Anderson with another nice serve handled by the Knights and Eagles a little back and forth take the attack from the Knights off the block and we have a point going to the Knights. Yeah, not, the Eagles were caught a little out of system on that because their setter who typically takes the second ball Barrett took the first ball on defense. Got to look through the libero to take the second ball. Knights sail the ball, hit it out of bounds, and we have another point Eagles. A couple hitting errors on the Knights to give the Eagles some points. Looks like the, the sets 
on the Eagles side aren't being pushed out and that the attackers have to do what they can to get the ball over. But props to them, though, to avoid any hitting errors, getting the ball over and letting the Knights make the mistakes. Another ball off the block, off the Eagles block, and the Knights get a quick side out. And Lucas Park back to serve with a score tied 19-19. Rattles off a jump serve handled by Dalton Johnson and Sam Brown with the attack. Knights try to save it and hit it off the basketball hoop. They looked ready to get that ball over until the ball hit the basketball hoop. That can really throw a wrench in things. For those watching at home, you can play it off the ceiling if you can anticipate it, which in that case they did not. And we have a service ace from Boston Bidette. The Eagles are dialing up a run at the right time as we approach set point. Boston Bidette back to serve again. Knights run their offense out of the middle. Eagles with the dig and Sam Brown hits the ball and gets the kill. Eagles running with a little bit of tempo there and the Knights were not ready on defense to dig the ball. And let me correct myself, they were ready. Sam Brown just hit it in a nice spot where it was a tough ball to play for the Knights. And we had a timeout from the Knights to focus, regroup, and prepare for one final run as they try to steal this set from the Eagles. Andrew Kinney looking animated there in the huddle, telling them to not let their foot off the gas. Three points may seem like a big lead, but Volleyball can come at you fast. Leads can evaporate. And they really need to close out this game if they want to win this set. The Eagles are looking for someone to serve a ball and also looking for a ball to serve. Boston Dell looked like he forgot they were serving. Serve handled by the Knights. Run their offense. And Logan Coking hits the ball out of bounds. When they're going up for the attacks, they're trying to read the block, and he saw an opening down the line. Just missed the shot. Really good attack. He just missed it by about a foot. Knights try to mix things up with a tip from the setter. Read easily by Tyler Johnson Libero. And Knights run their offense, hit the ball, clips the back line. And the Knights are in business. They're running out of time here in this second set. So they need to dial up a run fast if they want to get back in this game. And Austin wants the guy to do that. He went on a service run earlier in the game. But Boston Bidette makes sure that a similar service run doesn't happen again. Run a really strong attack out of the back row. And that's another one of those attacks that you have your, your two attackers in front and your setter, three options to go. And the defense honed in on that and looked a little surprised when they went to Boston in the back row. But when the defense surprised, that's the most advantageous time to attack. He has no block. We have Caden Wong for the Knights facing set point back to serve. Serves the libero, Tyler Johnson. They run something out of system, but Sam Brown gets a nice swing on the ball. And Logan Coking's not ready to go to set three yet. He powers the ball through the block and gets the kill. Caden Wong back to serve again. Picking on Tyler Anderson, making him get a pass to run the offense. And Logan Coking again with the swing, but Boston Bedette with the dig. We got a rally on our hands, folks. High level volleyball. Sam Brown goes to tip. 
The tip rejected by the middle, and the Knights are running their offense again. Can't get anything going and tip the ball over. Sam Brown with the kill. Closes out the set for the Eagles. Tyler Anderson's hyped, saying, yeah, baby, to the water cooler as he goes to rehydrate, get a water bottle. And the Eagles are in a familiar position, up two sets to zero. Looking at the Knights bench, though, they don't look demoralized at all. They know they have it in them. They're not ready to give up just, just yet. And they're ready to come back for set three, give it all they got. We deliver the answers to your questions by building a plan with you that is always available to you through your own personal financial website, where you can see your complete financial picture and how you are tracking towards meeting your goals in a simple, clear, easy to view way, allowing you to check in on your progress anytime, anywhere. And we'll stay with you along the way to keep you pointed in the direction of your dreams so you can focus on everything else. Together, we can build a plan for your financial life. Let's get started. Welcome to Yogurt Kingdom, a family-owned and operated frozen yogurt shop. We have a wide variety of flavors and even offer lactose and sugar-free options. Best of all, frozen yogurt provides several health benefits. It contains live cultured enzymes and probiotics promoting healthy digestive systems, provides nutrients that contribute to bone health, and is lower in calories than traditional ice cream. With over 80 toppings to choose from, you can easily customize your frozen treat. Stop in today. And we're back live here ahead of set number three for our match with the Eagles taking on the Knights. And I was so excited about talking about set number three. I just kept going into commercial break. But going into set three, we're gonna wanna see the Eagles continue their diversified attack. And the Knights are looking to keep passing the ball well and run their attack. And it was a close game. I think some of those balls they hit out of bounds, they just need to find a way to keep them inbounds, and they're right in this game. But the pressure is on them, down two sets to zero, with the Eagles trying to close out this game. We're gonna, have, we're gonna have Barrett Rogers kick us off in game three at the serve. And the Knights run their offense out of the middle. Seven with a little dance. Jake Bissot trying to get his team in rhythm, hyped up and ready to go. He's not letting the, f the results of the first two sets phase him. He wants to come out and get this third set. Sam Brown hits the ball off the block and wins the point for the Eagles. Out to an early, I guess, 1-1 one, one tie. I thought they were up 2-1, but it looks like the score is 1-1. One one. We have some coordinated cheers from the Knights players as well on the bench. They're trying to hype up the varsity squad on the court right now. They're not ready to go down 
accept their first loss. They want to maintain that undefeated record. And the Knights were looking for four touches, saying that on the Eagles attack, they didn't go over the net, but the, the refs didn't call it, and play goes on. Barrett Rogers with some defense, and Sam Brown out of the back. High level attacking and high level defense. And Jake Basal, let's see if he busts out another dance here. No dance, but we got another kill. He's really leading the Knights here in set number three. I think the only thing that can stop him at this point is his hair flowing in his face. He's trying to blow it out of the way. Number seven on the Knights. And the Eagles tempo on that play wins him the point. We have Tyler Anderson, the libero, back to serve again. He's been really strong on serve receive today. It's really allowed the, the, the Eagles to run their offense. And similar play, the Knights hit into the net. The up ref does not call a fourth touch. And the Knights convert and win the point. Coach Kinney looking at the rest of the coaches and saying, we're even now. At least the ref's calling it consistently on that. Not much the Eels can do about that besides keep playing, run their offense, and try to win some points. Barrett Rogers goes to Sam Brown out of the back row. And great defense by the Knights to get that up and send it back over. Barrett Rogers goes to Boston Bidette. And Bidette hits it off the antenna. Not enough credit goes to Caden Wong. He's shaking his hand there because that Sam Brown shot had some heat on it. But it allows the rally to keep going and for the Knights to win a point. Barrett goes back to Boston Bidette who gets an attack on the ball. And point Eagles as Lucas Park hits the ball off the antenna. The Knights have an early 5-3 lead and Dalton Johnson back at the service line to cut into the lead. The Knights with a good pass run their offense and Tyler Anderson with another dig. Barrett Rogers with a poetic set on the back set to get the ball over and, and Knights running their transition offense hit the ball out of bounds. Point Eagles as they're not about to let this lead get out of hand. Dalton Johnson, tough serve. Setter can't take the ball, but that does not matter. Lucas Park runs the attack and gets the kill. Ken and Cow showing that if the Knights did need a backup setter, he's got some hands. And Nada Morello with the kill. I like the Eagles there, establishing their middle early. Should open some blocks up for Sam Brown and Nick Cedar later in the game. Could even open up some tips for Barrett. He keeps his eye on the defense and sees where the block's headed. Austin Lund, haven't seen him in a while, but he comes back and gets the kill. He's a big part of the Knights' offense, and if the Knights are going to come back and take this third set, they're going to need Austin Lund, of all people, to be involved. The Eagles go back to Nada Morello. We have another ball bouncing off the basketball hoop, and some confusion on the Knights' side as Caden Wong takes the second ball, but nobody's there to take the third ball. We have the backflip and service specialist, Jake Porter, back in the game. He went on a run in set two and, and looking to mirror that. And what an attack from the Knights. Logan Koking slams the ball down. An overpass from the Eagles. And the Knights jam it back down the Eagles' throat. Austin Lund back to serve. He's got that nasty float serve. And the Eagles 
Sam Brown with the transition kill to make sure Austin Lund can't get on a service run. Austin Lund serves tough. It's coming in fast, coming low to the net, and Barrett Rogers with a changeup and a nutmeg. Serves the ball short, and it goes through the defender's legs. The Knights are asking him to do it again. Thought it was a little lucky, but sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Brett Rogers doesn't go for it again. And Logan Koking looking for revenge. Punches a one-way ticket. Destination, pound town on that play. You know, that's the sign of a composed athlete. Somebody that you may get the best of them on one play, but he's going to come back and take a shot, give you his best on the next play. And the Knights got an early 10-8 lead. Caden Wan back to serve, and nearly an ace. But the Eagles get it over. And Logan poking. My goodness. He took that ace earlier in the game personally. Serves up another kill, and the Knights are on a run. And just like that, guess who? Sam Brown puts it down for the kill with a much needed answer. And he switches from the jump serve to the float serve, just wants to focus on getting his serve in. And allows the Eagles to get a block on that. Man, the fans were hyped on that one. Got some fans off their feet. An overpass. And Boston Bedet with the kill on the overpass. Let's see if Sam Brown dials up a jump serve. Sometimes it's better to be aggressive than just give something over easy. And he misses the jumps. The Sorry, he misses the float serve. Having a tough day at the service line. But not letting it phase in. He's ready to come back and and get a dig, play some defense. The Knights and the Eagles trade service errors as Logan Koking serves it long. After some of those previous attacks from number 12 on the Knights, I was looking for some more heat on the serve, but takes a little off and still serves it long. A good bump set from Caden Wong, the setter. But the Knights still hit it long. They need to find a way to get out of rotation, and uh, I think they should look for Ken and Cow. Moonwalk back to his his position on serve receive, but they didn't have a chance. Tyler Anderson dialed up, dialed up a service ace. Knights desperately need a side out if they want to have a chance at this third set, and they're giving it all they got, but. Credit Tyler Anderson with the defense. Not letting him get any, I wouldn't even call them easy points because they've been good attacks. And the Knights are stuck in this serve receiver rotation. Gonna call a timeout to get things under control. See if a timeout can slow down Tyler Anderson because nothing they were doing on defense could. And while the momentum is with the Eagles right now, we need to just remember that the Knights are only down by two points. So the Eagles need to stay composed and just keep bringing it. The energy's been high tonight. Really have risen to the occasion as they look to take down the Knights. And even though they're up two sets to zero looking to win in three, it's been a really close game, really entertaining. Some great Tuesday night entertainment. For those of you watching at home and for those that, that made the trip out here to Gilbert, Arizona to watch the game live. Tyler Anderson back to serve out of the timeout. And again, out of tempo, 
the Knights couldn't really get anything meaningful, but get the ball over, and the Eagles are under the net. So the violation on the Eagles gets the side out for the Knights, and they're probably just happy to be out of those, that rotation. Sometimes you can just get in one serve receive rotation where you just can't get out of it and can't find answers. Eagles. And Boston Bidette, sorry, interrupted my chain of thought, but what a block. You can see the elevation on that block, presses his hands over the net and gets the solo block, no help needed. The officials gathering up to talk about something. Boston did apologize. I don't know if he said something to the other team. But after that block, he's a little passionate. Sam Brown, the captain, is having a little talk with Boston. Tell him to keep his emotions in check. Boston's the nicest kid. He wouldn't try to disrespect any anyone. Mean to disrespect, but the Knights there get a kill and get a point. Ten and Cow back to serve. Not the best pass on the serve receive, and Barrett tips the ball over. They go to Sam Brown out of the back row. And he hits the ball at a sharp angle. Just nothing you can really do. And number nine, Ken and Cow on the Knights is slow to get up. Let's hope he's okay. Looks like he might have landed a little funny on his shoulder. So they're going to bring in a sub for him. Number two, Haseem El Saeed. And again, let's just hope Ken and Cow is okay. Don't want to see anyone getting hurt out here. Knights on the attack and hit the ball just out of bounds. That was close. But close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, not in volleyball. So point Eagles. Boston Bidette back to serve. Delivers up another short serve, and the Knights handle it. Knights get the ball back. Eagles run some transition offense, and Boston Bidette gets the kill out of the back row. The Eagles are really utilizing that extra attacker from the back row, and that's something that differentiates the good teams from the great teams at the high school level is when you can get an additional attacker out of the back row. And it's all made possible by the athleticism of the Eagles. And side out Knights on the attacking air from the Eagles. They're going to look to get a side out here pretty quickly. Lucas Park with a jump serve and into the net. Eagles get a side out on the service ear. The service air, excuse me. And again, we have service specialist Jake Porter in the game for Nod Morello. Serves right to number 12. And 12's a one man show. Takes the pass. Perfect pass, by the way. Hits the ball right down the line to the deep corner and gets the point. Let's see if that gets number 12, Logan Coking, going. He's in the front row right now. Let's see if we can get some attacks from him. Great strong serve by Austin Lund. And Eagles get a block. Caden Wong on the Knights tries to catch the Eagles by surprise, tip the ball over, but Sam Brown read that and shuts the door. Heads up play. It's easy to fall asleep on that and lose sight of it, but Sam Brown was ready. And Barrett Rogers dials up another short serve that gets the Knights out of sort and leads to a block from the Eagles. Eagles have run away here with a five point lead and the Knights are left with no other option but to call a timeout. The 
Knights have their backs up against the wall here and tough spot to be in down five, but people have come down from bigger leads and if they can string together some passes, run some tempo offense, they can get right back in this third set and the Eagles are gonna look to, to end this quickly, get home. Before we get back to the action, the Eagles are doing a raffle drawing for Crumble Cookies. Let, let's see who won the Crumble Cookies. It looks like a, a Knights fan won the Crumble Cookies. So, may not go home with a win, but at least we'll go home with some Crumble Cookies. Barrett Rogers on the serve. Great pass. But a little out of sorts from the middle blocker and the setter as they get a tip over the Knights get a tip over and the Eagles run transition offense and get the point Barrett Rogers back to continue a service run tight set at the net and Knights have to tip the ball over run some offense and just hit the free ball long Eagles are closing in on a victory here as Barrett Rogers is swinging tough and sets to Maxwell Gordon Smith out of the middle. Knights get a pass and Logan Coking hits the ball deep right corner for the point. Hayden Wong's back to serve and also Kenan Cow for the Knights back in the game. Looks like his shoulder's okay comes back in to play offense and a service ace from Caden Wong. Tough time for Tyler Anderson taking the ball with his hands and hits the ball right off the basketball hoop. Boston Bidette steps in to take the serve on this play and Nick Cedar right into the block. The Knights are not ready to go home yet. They're trying to string together a run and have closed the deficit to four points. Down 19 to 23. Barrett goes back to Nick Cedar. And on the overpass, give me the hot sauce, Sam Brown. Hits the ball straight down. The Knights are contesting that he was over the net. But the referees did not see it that way. So we have Shane Weir back in on match point to serve. And his serves handled. Tough serve, though. Number nine doing a great job to stay on his side of the net. And Boston Bidette puts it down for the Eagles win. Point Eagles. Great job today by the Eagles to close out the win. And strong effort from the entire team. No one player really led the attack. It was everyone. Took a group effort. And they send the Knights home in three sets. But great job to the Knights. Came out and competed. They're a young team. Only two seniors will come back next year even stronger. And we may even see them later in a state tournament or something. I don't know if, if we play these teams twice. We might even see them at their place, but really great game from both teams. And with that, we will take it away. Thank you for tuning in tonight to the Eagles TV network. Drive home safely, or if you're watching from home, I guess you're already at home. But we will see you next time. We are wrapped.